Hello there folks, this is the Lon Chaney Reviewer, and welcome to Silent Film Saturday, episode number 27. This week's episode is the 1921 uh, Rudolph Valentino film, The Sheik. Uh, also starring Agnes Ares and Adolphe Meju and Walter Long. This film, I really don't have much to say about it, so this might be one of the shortest Silent Film Saturday episodes, period. Basically, this movie is actually based off of a best-selling book, I believe, of the same title, which is also very successful, but was also very controversial at the time because of its views on race and miscegenation and rape. Like, there's a rape scene that does happen in the book version of The Sheik, which is more or less kind of implied in the movie, except it's implied and you don't see it. It's implied. So, and critics at the time kind of debated that it took away from the themes of the novel and made it a different thing entirely. But regardless, this is the film we have. So basically we have this, uh, this Diane, this Diane character who, um, she goes off to, like, the Middle East for a month, you know, and everybody's like, oh, isn't it improper for her to go out, this young English woman doing that, but she, you know, she's a woman, she doesn't want to have be attached to a man by any means, and she's independent. And you obviously know what's, what's coming up after that. She's gonna meet the man who's gonna master her. And that is, uh, the Sheik, played by Rudolph, uh, Valentino. First, let me talk about the visuals. The visuals of the film really look cool. Um, the film was, uh, I believe under a $200,000 budget and the film made over a million dollars in its initial release, which is, for those of you who think, oh, a million is nothing. A million was a lot back in 1921. That was a lot of money, especially for a production, uh, this cheap. And it helped Valentino reach stardom. Like, forever, we would forever remember Valentino, partially thanks to The Sheik. Um, there, there's some really nice visuals, like some of the title cards have really nice pictures to them, like you have the camels and the trees, uh, the desert. There's some really nice visual, uh, you know, title card cues there to help set up the mood. Um, then you have, like, the nice, like, looking, um, Ara Arabian decor... The tunics, yeah, the characters, like, everything looks nice on screen. If it's a little boring, it looks very nice on the screen. The film's only, like, an hour and a half. But there's a real, I like a shot in the beginning where this guy is, like, singing. Or not singing, but he's saying something, and he's in this tower, and the background looks like it's just a painting. And I love stuff like that. And the painting looks really good. It looks much better than, say, a CGI shot. Um, I, I, personally, I like practical effects more than CG, but regardless, I understand CG's, you know, importance. CG can accomplish a lot of things, but it's really nice to see practical effects on the screen. Um, Valentino's performance, uh, I really liked it. I was really amazed how much I really liked his performance, because I thought, oh, it would just be like me watching Edward... Uh, Cullen in Twilight, when really he was actually something different. He was actually more of a seducer, and he's like, I can I can easily see why a lot of women were attracted to this guy and why men didn't like Valentino very much, for a few reasons. First off, ladies loved him. Like women just loved Valentino, and when he died in 1926, it caused mass his mass hysteria, pretty nuts stuff. But regardless. Men also didn't like him because he was an American. Valentino was, I believe, Italian. And, you know, they didn't like the idea of a foreign man, you know, appealing to a woman. They tried to, and that's why they liked someone more like Douglas Fairbanks, where it's like, okay, it's an American male. He's a definitively American guy. Even though he's playing characters that are sometimes not American, he is American himself, whereas Valentino is not American. So... People, there were men who had problems with that. But uh, looking at Valentino in this film, I would have really have loved to have seen him play a Dracula. Like, can you imagine if there was a if he was cast as Dracula? I mean, I haven't heard. I've only heard a little bit of his voice recordings, but I'm sure he probably could have pulled it off uh, reasonably well. And I'm thinking this. I'm like, he would have been real. Women would have went nuts. <laughs> like, 
That would have been really crazy if he had played Dracula, or played a variation of Dracula, or some vampiric uh, seducer character. When you look at him on screen, he's very confident. Uh, he expects women to do as he ple do as he wants, and he 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 just commands whatever is on the screen. Uh, but in terms of story, yeah, he kind of takes a liking to the Diane character. Uh, she's kind of ashamed to be w associated with an Arab because you know he's a foreigner, and you know complicated stuff happens. So in that sense, it's kind of interesting, but the film isn't particularly great. Um, from, from what I've heard, Son of the Sheik is actually a better movie, and I'm really looking forward to watching it next week for uh, Silent Film Saturday number 28. But more on that in a minute. But as a whole, I like this film. There's some color, nice color tints. I like color tints when used appropriately. Um, I like the visual style, like I said, there's like camel, they have a lot of camels on set and desert. Looks very, very good, very stylized. Uh, I like Valentino's uh, seductive uh, performance within the movie. And there's not much else to be said about this motion picture, except it's, uh, it's known. It's, it's one of the, it's not one of those silent films where, yeah, it's not one of the greatest silent films, but it's probably one of the most well-known silent films. Like, is it on the level of something like Nosferatu or Cabinet of Dr. Caligari or City Lights or Birth of a Nation? No. No, it is not. But you can see why it's important. It's like Twilight. You might not like Twilight, but you have to understand why Twilight was successful. And as long as you get that, you're a pretty intelligent human being. Next week, I shall be reviewing the sequel to this film, also Valentino's final screen appearance, in 1926's The Son of the Sheik. See you next week.